fresh face of the presidential race, the Never Trump conservative formally launching his independent bid for the presidency just this week. Evan McMullen says Donald Trump poses a major threat to our national security, more dangerous than the threat from ISIS. The former CIA officer and 2016 candidate joins me now. I got to ask you, why now? I mean, why wouldn't you have done this three months ago, four months ago at the beginning? Well, it's a great question. I, I wish somebody had gone much earlier. I had hoped, like many Americans, that we would see an independent candidate run to, to, challenge, uh, to challenge both of these terrible candidates from the Republican and the Democratic side. But over several months, it became clear but, that this just wasn't two, going to happen. There are two other candidates that are in the race, and there were 17 others that went against mm -hmm. Donald Trump, and there were others that, mm -hmm. like Michael Bloomberg, that looked at getting in all at times well, when, they, when they had a chance. Well, he did actually commission a big study, Michael Bloomberg. He spent a lot of but money he to didn't see if he could win. But he, he um, didn't run. Okay, but he, there are only 24 states where you could get mm -hmm. listed, so it seems like That's not true. it's late. How many, can that's you get not, listed in all 50 th that's states? That's not true. Yeah, there's, there's actually a, a large misunderstanding about the process. There are a number of states that you can get on, uh, the ballots for which you can get on through petitioning. In addition to that, uh, it's possible to work through other uh, minor parties, which we're doing. Then there are also legal uh, challenges that, that are available to us as well. So Would we'll have been be easier if you did it earlier, though, right? Of course, but I didn't. I never imagined that I would be the one to do this. I was hoping an elder states, uh, statesman or an, uh, you know, an elder of, of the conservative movement would mm -hmm. step in and do this, but it didn't happen. Yeah. Well, what do you say to people that say that you're just helping Hillary Clinton? Is that okay with you well, if I that's how it turns out? I would say this. Don, I entered the race only four days ago, and Donald Trump was losing by 10% already there. You see the polls come out in key swing states uh, today, Virginia, Florida, Colorado, where he's done, down by as many as 14 percentage points. These, these states are critical to the election. Donald Trump is ensuring that Hillary Clinton win this election. And for conservatives especially, they should be concerned because he cannot compete with her. And every okay. day he puts his foot right back into his mouth. And I don't think that's going to change. He's down for the count. He's not coming so your, back. Your so message we've got to find another option. He's terrible. Do you, have a, do you have a positive message for yourself? Absolutely. I spent 10 years in the CIA fighting terrorism. I'm the only candidate who knows anything about how to destroy ISIS. I spent time in the private sector as well. I know what companies need to excel. We need to get the government out of the way so they can hire people and improve lives that way. And there are some critical reforms that need to happen in the government. And I've spent time uh, working in Congress in, the, in a couple of roles, and I know what those reforms are. So that's what I bring to the table, as well as an interest, as, as well as a, a commitment to putting the interests of the American people first. Okay. Evan, thank you for coming on. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank